Watching Whatever It Takes Nation. I'm with Katrina Campins, and of course, I'm Elena Cardone. Katrina and I decided to do this show because mm -hmm. we were talking one day and we said, What is the role of a woman today in today's world, in this modern society, this modern world? What 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 is the what what are we doing? What are what are our relationships like, our our careers? we're trying to navigate we don't need like the big women's kind of feminist movement that we needed at one point to kind of get equal rights in the workplace and voting etc but where is it now where do we stand and whatnot so we decided to bring the show women in power to you um and we're on the journey as well so as we discover what it really means to be a woman in power we want your feedback and we want to share that experience with you which is why today we decided to go live for the first time because Yay. we want feedback. From so we are. Um, we're taking callers. Yes. You can call 305-865-8668 at any point during the show and give us your thoughts. Today I wanted to cover the topic of picking the right partner. Recently a girlfriend asked me, she's like, you've been married for 10 years. How do I find someone like Grant? How did you find each other? They want to know all the secrets. And I know Katrina's married as well, and so people are asking you, like, you know, how, how does this work, you know? Right, how did you come to find the right partner, and what, what it, does it entail um, having that partner? You know, I was single for four and a half years before I met my husband, and I really believe, and we've discussed that, that it comes down to your value system. I think that's the first uh, most critical component, is to make sure that you share the same value system, because otherwise, long term, I just don't see relationships working unless unless you have those value systems. And so and open communication, trust. But again, you know, we were talking about this earlier when we were doing our hair and makeup, which is like, well, what would I try deluxe? I love those yes. guys. If yes, you're in Miami, amazing. check them out. Anyway, go on. But what you know, what happened in the past before you got to that relationship, which helped you recognize that this was the man, you know, for you and, you know, again, with, with Grant, you have a very interesting story and so forth. But. Why don't you tell us about that, actually? Well, I made a, I had a series of failures in relationships, and I noticed that I kept doing the same offenses, like, um, or or pulling in the same kind of offense, toxic kind of man mm -hmm. in my relationship. I went from one serial cheater to the next, and and then I just developed this notion that all men cheat, and that's what I was to s expect. And it wasn't until I realized that that's a myth and I deserve better and that there are men actually out there that do exist that are monogamous, that respect values mm -hmm. and relationships and want a family and, and, and are on the same path that, that I wanted to, to, um, to create. So, A, I had to recognize that for myself. But don't you think that it took that time to really love yourself? I mean, it sounds so corny, but to love yourself first and to really get to know who you are? in order to attract the right person. Because I know that those four and a half years, I, I always joke, you know, and we've discussed this in, um, before in hair and makeup, which is like before I had the single superwoman epidemic. So I was like powerful, you know, and I was becoming the man that I wanted. And I was becoming so masculine. I was so rough. And I created these walls that were, you know, too rough for even, too high, I should say, for even myself to climb. And it was only until I basically got to know myself. And that took, I mean, I was such a dork on Friday and Saturday nights. I would sit I would sit at home and I would drink wine and, and read about quantum physics and human behavior and who was I as a person. Mm -hmm. And it was only then that I was able to recognize, you know, when the right person came into my life. Well, that's why I wanted to cover this book, okay? It's Picking Right. Mm -hmm. It's the best book I've ever read um, in terms of the singles guide for finding the right match. It's by a woman named Daphna Levy. And, um, you know, there are certain things in this book that, you know, had this been on the list, it may have helped prevent those three relationships that were not so good. Because in hindsight, no, it was BS. I did not need to go through that to find what I was looking for. I just needed to know right now what it is that can get me there. First of all, one of the mo what is the purpose of a relationship? First and foremost, you have to know that. Is it are you going for to feel love and experience these emotions and that's it? You know? No. It's like, okay, the relation the, the purpose of a relationship, she says, is to assist and improve the life, health, happiness, and success of the partners in that relationship. So, yeah. you know, if it's if 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 you are a good person 
and then you get with a guy, and then you find yourself becoming a, a less motivated, more depressed, self-insecure person after, then I would say the one plus the one, you plus the real guy, equals less than one bad relationship. Mm -hmm. If you're one plus one and you kind of stay the same, uh, it's a toss up you could give or take but an ideal relationship should be one plus one equals greater than two right. like you're more motivated you they are inspiring you encouraging you in like a really positive healthy way when well, so, a lot of women think oh I just want to feel that love and and it's not about that it's about somebody that's pushing you to become a better version of yourself pushing you outside that comfort zone and that's why I don't buy into this whole thing that you know rainbows and unicorns it's just it's not about that and also when you're choosing a partner you you have to make sure that you understand that this is a lifetime. And so you have to make sure that, again, they share your value system, yes. that they're going to help you grow in areas and make you better. And you're going to want to make that person better. And you and you can't assume that they have the same desires that you do. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Um, you can't just assume, like, because y'all are in this in love thing that, you know, he's decided to make you his only one. I mean, that might be a decision in your head, but unless you have the communication uh, like, okay, we're going to go on this path and create a family and, and do these other things. Like, you know, you can't just assume because people make that mistake. You know, if they were a cheater before they got with you and you're not having the talk and really seeing that they want to turn their life around, chances are you're going to be cheated on too. Call in and let us know what your life experiences are. 305-865-8668. Stay tuned. We'll be right back.